The Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission organized CXO Meet and Job Mela under DTU GKY at Hotel Saramati. The event was graced by Minister of Rural Development Mitsubu Jamir. The motive of the event was to transform rural youths into an economically independent and globally relevant work free. During the last three years, DDUGKY has trained 4,510 rural youths in different trades ranging from construction to tailoring, food and beverage, service to solar panel installation. Of these, 2,082 youths have joined the industry workforce and have continued to work for at least three months with a few candidates having continued to work even during COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking in the program, Jamri said that even though Nagaland was rich in resources, the only employment avenues was the government and that is was essential that other industries boom to provide youths with employment opportunities. We thank the MRT for all the initiatives and all the programs that they have customized to deal with our food, especially this DT, UGKY. Programs like this actually <coughs> is a boon to our country because it is the young generation that one day must take over the health of our country. And such training, providing such skills at their age, I think this will go a long way in making India better and India more united because the compartmentalization of states is now breaking down. Like our friend has said, Assam, <coughs> Meghalaya, Mizoram, no eastern states is becoming now like four, five, six, seven states, but it is people usually now refer to as we used to be called the seven sisters, but now we are called the notice. Likewise, our people also working here and there, and that way our country gets united. Like our, uh, our spokesperson from the then Hotels Corporation, he also said that Israeli people are working in India. Of course, Israelis working in India has a big security concern. The Clyde Cooper Learning and Development Manager, Nadine D.N. and Anil Makwanda M.D. talent acquaintance also shared their experiences. Then please come out from your comfort zone. I'm sure that once you relocate, your problem will start. It's not an easy journey, right? It's not your home to survive there because you are getting like you no know, other facility at your home. But while you are going to relocate with other location, you have to manage from your end. No one is going to give you tea, no one is going to give you food. For that you have to manage from your end. But many of them are going to live because of these kind of you know environment. But guys, if you want to get success in your life, you have to come out from your comfort zone. Right? That's it. I would like to thank you, MOID, once again, and SRL team, DQ GK team. Uh, I would like to thank you, uh, Vati Mem, for uh, inviting and you know placing your candidates. We are expecting you know good business from uh, Northeast, specifically in Dimapur. We'll meet uh, MOID team once again and talk about the expansion of our business as of now there are seven members are working at fourth mile we have 3000 square foot office at uh, dimapur wherein we are expanding in upcoming days we are planning to set up like 40 to 50 recruiters at this location who can help nagaland people to get a proper job now once again thank you we initiated the fact that one of our placement colleagues back in Delhi said, why don't we try this initiative? And he got us connected with PLS Auto Shell Industries. I mean, I would say first, a round of applause for PLS Auto Shell Industries for a great job done for us at the Bay Hotel. And secondly, a bigger round of applause for the initiative itself. You know, everything starts small and
for most people, the misnomer paradigm is that only hotel management kids need to join hotels. It has completely changed. It was changing with the advent of the IT industry. I'll tell you why as well. And post-COVID, it's changed further. I'll tell you what's happening in the hotel industry with the hotel management colleges. Let's say they have a batch of 60 students. Each parent is paying about 7 lakhs for 3 years. Right? And in that there's a training period of 6 months. At the end of the training and at the end of the 3 year grueling course, which is also fun. Trust me, I've been from one, it's much more fun than doing BA or BCom. I've done both back in the day. Hotel management is fun, but it is also risky today because the opportunities for the hotel management kid is much more than just hotels. You have retail, you have the BPO sector, you have the cruise ship industry, and you have the facilities industry which powers the IT industry in terms of housekeeping and other utilities that these IT parks use. And what we find out is the salary level is higher and therefore they are attracted in all fairness. They want to justify the investment of the parents. Fair and good. Now the question is, where do we get people to work in the hotels from? So the first thought, it's not about the money, but it's more about how hungry is a prospective employee in relation to joining the hotel industry. When I say how hungry, it's the hunger for knowledge, it's the willingness to perform, which is much more of a delta, as well as establishing a career. You know, about 10, 15 years back, in order to get promoted, you needed to serve at least five years in that particular position. Can anybody guess, my hotel hearing friends, what is the tenure now? I think there was some... Uh, that's a little too optimistic, but to be honest, it's two years. All right? So, we recruited in the month of June 35 kids from PLA Auto Shell Industries. And we only looked for three things, which I'm sure the youth, the rural youth, with the agencies that are working so hard with the support of the initiative as well. We only looked at three things. Ability to speak, number one. Because that is something which the industry is really suffering with at the moment. All right? Number two is how good are your presentation stroke demeanor? When I use the word demeanor, it's not only about how beautiful or how good looking one is or how well you are groomed. It's about also your body language and it's also about the tone that you use in the process of presenting yourself. The third one is we look for certain competencies during the interview which are typically trick questions. But the trick question has only one outcome. We want people good presentation skills, good English, and something which is very uncommon in most part of the world is called common sense. Given these three things, you're ready to come on board at the Den Bengaluru. Anybody from Nagaland. All right? So, coming to our journey, I'll just take another two minutes. I know we're a little pressed for time. Uh, normally, in a five-star deluxe hotel, you have an induction that ranges from three to four days. For anybody coming from Nagaland and with the objective of 
getting them performed quickly is we have a 26 day induction and that 26 day at the hotel which I represent is strictly done by me or under my direct supervision. We do have departmental trainers but for the first 26 days the kids undergo hotel fact training, accommodation, setting up, paperwork, joining formalities and stuff like that. At the moment I can tell you right now in a month and a half out of the 35 girls we already have them delivering on the shop full floor. We have four in housekeeping, 10 in front office and 21 in food and beverage service. And I hope in another, maybe another 15 to 20 days, once the menu tasting and the menu training is over, they would be confident in f and for sure to start taking orders. So, we have a COO menu, sir. I have a question regarding the questions. First of all, thanks for having us. I have a question like Nagaland, Bishi, Kikoidula, Initiative, especially as a youth, especially. So, you have a branch can allow like Tagina, like you do Tagina, you do Kines. I have a lot of people who are in training, who are in a placement, who are in a place. तो इतिहास में कहन अंदर डीडीयू जीकेवाई 15 एक्टिव ट्रेनिंग सेंटर्स आसिदे अमी कहन तो इधर ट्रेनिंग सेंटर दे इतिहास मोर देन 1000 कैंडिडेट्स आर अंदर गोइंग ट्रेनिंग करेंटली एट द मोमेंट ना एंड आई गोरी ना तो वी हैव सोलर पैनल इंस्टॉलेशन वी हैव मेसनरी कंस्ट्रक्शन सेक्टर दे we have automotive service technician, automobile industry, they do mechanic, then for girls we have tailoring going on, then we have in the aviation sector training going on, then we have what else, construction, hospitality, food and beverage, the front office associate, training. Na 15 different training centers just day. So, sir, did you GQ why do like trade his up the? Kung ba ni konsyo tailoring kan tayo wao or carpentry kan bisa kayo wao to each trade ni mide qualification to metro kuno kure. Yes, these courses are designed by this. Uh, NSDC to National Skills Qualification Framework or ina tagi ito laga uh, courses kan here an kore so we don't design the courses we do course to peak kuribo it's already there na to based on the courses class 5 pass laga for example carpentry will do class 5 pass kan bi tagi but for uh, food and beverage kumba class 12 pass la bi ase Cabin crew laga do 12 pass na. So 5 pass to 6 pass, 7 pass in Algorigina, 12 pass and above la course BSA. Yes. Idula admission fees can look in as is it all free na kinias? What do you think? Yes. It do na government sponsored program as a day. So Ministry of Rural Development bara. 90% funding there, state government bora 10% funding. So government bora fee gan sub tera hai so candidate, anybody, any rural candidate, whoever is willing na, can come and avail this training free of cost. To tade ki thagi bo, you will be, your transportation from your village to the training center will be reimbursed. You will be provided uniform na, Uniform dibo, learning materials dibo, tablets dibo, na aru itu laporte food accommodation, sob government bora pay gora si. Ah, to itu training huwa pichide, training huwa pichide placement dibo do. To placement bi itu amigan laga training partners, project implementing agency guna si. Itu kan pora hi tangan ge company ande link kuri na na placement dibo. So currently we have 
placed a little more than 2,000 Naga youths, rural youths, and they are working in different parts of the country. Two of our uh, candidates are working in Oman, international placement. Then recently, Air India, they uh, taken five of them got into uh, Air India, cabin crew. They two of them got into Indigo, you know, and their salary is like 50,000 plus per month. And these are our rural youths, rural girls and boys.